Sabah everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to share with you guys my experience from checking out the Jellycomb Mini Touchpad Keyboard. It's a small keyboard, very thin, works over Bluetooth of course, but it includes a touchpad, which means if you're using it with your Mac or your PC, you're going to get touch and you're also going to get gestures out of this keyboard, um, all in a very small package that works over Bluetooth with almost anything that's compatible with it, even your mobile device. This is TK and I want to say thank you very much for allowing me to check it out, but let's not waste any time. Let's check out the Jennycomb Mini Touchpad Keyboard. The box is very simple. This is the picture of the keyboard itself. It's compatible with Windows, Android, and iOS. Mini Bluetooth touchpad keyboard, ideal for travel. Very small, very easy. Made by a company called Jellycomb. Uh, it does have a touchpad. It's a QWERTY keyboard, and it does have a built-in battery, so you don't have to have it plugged in all the time. It is Bluetooth and wireless. Here is my Galaxy S8 Plus. For just size comparison, I want to show you guys how small this keyboard is. The keyboard is entirely under here. Uh, it's very nice, very small. We have all the buttons that we normally have, and we have a centered touchpad that's built in. We have a few LEDs here to indicate uh, low power, full power when it's charging, back button, as well as the LED on the Bluetooth. Uh, your space button is broken up between the two sides. Your left click and your right click are pushed up here. Page up, page down is in the middle. You have a function key to be able to have your media keyboard key options on the top. And of course, you have escape, control, your Windows key. It does also work with Mac. All the functions are very nice. And it does support gestures. So when you're on the Mac and you want to swipe down, swipe up, swipe to the right, swipe to the left, the two finger gestures are supported here. Uh, the only other buttons that we have on the top here is the ability to turn it on. Once you do that, uh, it does have a built-in battery that you need to charge. Press and hold the Bluetooth button for three seconds for it to start pairing, and you can connect it to your PC or to your favorite device. Once you do that for the first time, it'll connect to the last thing as long as the other thing has that actual service on. On the bottom, uh, well, let's go ahead and turn it off real quick so we don't have any accidental turn-ons. On the bottom, we have a micro USB uh, connector, which are they also provide you with a cable for it. So what you're going to be able to do is charge it using the micro USB cable and use it in Bluetooth mode. Very nice, very thin. Uh, again, I'm just wanting to show you guys comparison by size. It's actually thinner than my mobile device and it's shorter. So it's about, I would say if you had like the S8, this may be about the same size as the Galaxy S8, but the benefit is it works with a PC, Mac, or Android or iOS device. I went ahead and connected my keyboard uh, directly into my PC. You'll notice right there, the mouse pad, as I'm moving it here, it moves over there, moves right and left. And I'm actually able to do swiping up, swiping down. I'm actually using the gestures right there. So up, down, up, down and I can just basically go in and start typing you notice right there you can have backspace very very nice very simple it does have a clicky sound it's not quiet unfortunately but it definitely does work and it's using bluetooth so it's going to be working for you at a great distance and give you the functionality that you want the function keys work very nicely again all you have to do is turn it on pair it by holding it for three seconds and you're able to go your page up page down the left click right click for the pc on the mac it works the same way and then the spacebar is broken up if there's about one thing that i'm not so sure about is the placement of the touchpad kind of threw off the keys a little bit we seem to have more key buttons on the left you just have to get used to it. let's say hello is h e l l o here and then how h o w you just have to kind of get used to the fact that you're using two thumbs to type uh, but other than that works really good I tested it out with my Android device. The mouse does work very, very nicely with my NVIDIA Shield, as well as with my PC, as well as my uh, iPad. Really does exactly the job that it's intended. Very small, very thin, very simple, very nice, very small. Uh, the battery life is pretty decent. It lasted me about an hour the last time I was able to use it consistently, but I was typing a lot of stuff out of it, and it works really good. Uh, the touchpad is very sensitive. On the Mac, I was able to get the gestures to work. On my PC, I had some hit and miss where the PC application, depending on what I'm using, I was able to use gestures. Like when I was in the browser, it worked fine, but when I was in images, I'm trying to scroll between images, it didn't work the same way. So it depends on the software that you have on your computer. But uh, again, I tested out with my Android device, my Shield TV, my computer definitely, which is my Mac, my portable uh, laptop, and it works very nice. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you to Jellycomb for allowing me to check out this keyboard. It's a nice little compact keyboard that you can take with you. And it takes almost about the size, uh, about the same size as your smartphone uh, and not even the big smartphones, the smaller ones. And it charges via my USB. Like and subscribe as usual. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next video.